everyone welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in this video i am going to explain about the data warehouse architecture in the subject of data warehouse and data mining in the previous video i have explained about data warehouse components uh, features of data warehouse and also differences between database and data warehouse if you have missed out those videos i'll give you the link of the playlist in the description you can check out and you can have a look and you can learn from there so now let us learn about the data warehouse architecture. You know what architecture means, right? The structure you can say or the physical appearance of anything, you know, architecture is. So in this, we are going to learn about three types of architectures, three types, two tier, three tier and four tier. So we are going to learn about two tier, three tier and four tier architecture. Let uh, First, I'll explain about two tier architecture and then i will explain what additionally is added to two tier architecture to make up its third and third to fourth right so now let's quickly first learn about two tier architecture in two tier architecture we will be following the client server architecture you know what is client server right you'll have a client you'll have a server the client will uh, request and the server will give send the uh, response right so this is what we learned about client server architecture in our uh, previous subjects or in previous classes we can say here what happens in 2tier architecture is this uh, if you can see these are the end users and this is the data warehouse or you can say data server data source data warehouse so the end users will be requesting for information and this uh, see two arrows we have here one is for request uh, and another is for response so only two direct end user will be communicating with the data warehouse and then uh, end user will be taking the information from the data warehouse directly this happens in 2tier architecture right and here it is very easy to maintain and very fast communication because there is no mediator in between direct end users and data warehouse are communicating with each other so it is very fast communication and but it does not support large number of end users if there are so many end users it does not support okay it can support only up to few end users and it is it cannot be expandable that is what i said it does not support for large number of end users right so uh, even though it is easy to maintain it has also some disadvantages and the disadvantages are uh, it will not support large number of end users it is not expandable and the advantages are it is easy to maintain and fast communication right so now we will go to three tier architecture and let us see what additionally is added in three tier architecture if you can see uh, this is the three tier architecture in three three tier architecture we have three top one bottom one and also middle one okay so the bottom tier is nothing but the database this one right this is the uh, database data source is nothing but the database here the information will be stored in the form of rdbms which is nothing but in form of tables it will be stored okay in the data source and in between this is the bottom tier okay as i said we'll have top middle and bottom this is the bottom tier and the middle one is olap you know what is olap i already made a separate video on olap right so it will contain the olap server in middle layer we'll have olap server business logic is present in this tier here we will have the business logic done and here we have is the top tier top tier is nothing but the end users will be coming under the top tier okay next uh, so clients can access the data directly from this top tier so that is the main uh, use of the top tier we can say done so this is about two tier and three tier so now let us see what additionally is added in uh, four tier architecture right in four tier architecture we have additional layer that is the presentation layer okay how the data is presented to the user so we add this presentation layer we have added this presentation layer in four tier architecture just to present the data in a more detailed way uh, to present the information in a better way we can say so that is the reason of adding the presentation layer okay so here we have the end user the end user will be sending the request and this request will be taken by the presentation layer where we have the controller right and view this controller will be sending the request right it will also send the request to the business objects and data objects so all the communication part will take place and then the data is again finally the response will be given to the end user again through the presentation itself the main uh, 
thing I want to explain you in this four tier architecture is the request will be sent to the presentation layer, all the processing part will happen and then the response again will be sent to the user through the presentation layer itself. So whatever the response is received from here, from the other two data access, so here we have database, so obviously the data is accessed from here, right? And then the business objects, I mean, you know, what do you say? It will, see, I'll explain you again. This is controller, right? So the controller will send the request to the business objects and then the business object will send the data request to the data objects, data objects to database. Then database will send the information to data objects. That means here, this downward arrow is for request and this upward arrow is for response, okay? And again, data object will send the response to the business objects and this response is sent to the model. Then model will send the response to the view. View will give response to the end user finally. Okay, so this is what happens. So what happens when uh, the date, the response is received by view, it will, as it is in the presentation layer, it will try to enhance, it will try to enhance the way we present the uh, data. So it will uh, try to make the presentation better and then it will uh, submit it to the end user. Okay, so this is about four tier architecture. In four tier architecture, additionally, we have presentation layer done in two tier we have only two client and server in three tier we have uh, client server and also in between we have OLAP server okay next in four tier we have client we have server simply this is client this is server but in between we have business logic and also presentation layer business logic is nothing but we have this in th three tier also right OLAP now in addition to client OLAP and data server or data access, we have additional presentation layer in the four tier architecture. Okay, so that's all for this video guys and thanks for your patience towards the video. I hope the video was uh, helpful for you. If you have understood whatever I've explained clearly, hit the like button and also share it with your friends so that it will be useful for your friends as well. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, do subscribe and also share it with your friends and uh, comment in the comment section whether uh, the video was useful for you or not that means whether you understood whatever i've explained or not so that i'll know what you guys are feeling about the video and if you want to have a look at uh, other videos of dwdm playlist i will give you the link in the description you can check out and you can have a look at the other videos as well and thank you for watching the video and i would like to take up video recommendations from you guys about what videos i must make next and thank you for your patience towards the video. Keep watching my channel.